Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are basically going to learn about how to write a proper color cover letter for your job application, right? So, cover letter is very very crucial point whenever you are doing any kind of a job application to uh, any QA fresher job or probably a experience job, right? So, this is uh, really important. And in this video, I'm gonna discuss about a tool which will help you to generate the cover letter by yourself. I'm going to give you a practical example of a QA lead or a SDET. Uh, we will do a live demo in front of you and I'm going to give you my personal tips which are very very helpful and worked for me in the past and this is a couple of tips that I have basically uh, acquired from my couple of friends who are also got selected due to that cover letters. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. So first of all, uh, let's discuss about before we start, guys, I just wanted to let you know that uh, these are where if you are someone who want to learn about APA testing, Cybers, uh, if you want to jump from manual testing to automation, this is the right time. Do the 30 days challenges and uh, make sure you are uh, basically uh, learning about Cybers, APA testing and other things. So there are all the uh, videos, free videos as well as couple of paid videos. Mostly free videos are already available on the channel. You can go to the uh, sd.live slash ytp which is youtube playlist and you will see other all the challenges that you basically can do in software testing right and uh, you can download all the mind maps and the documentation on the sd.live slash dots all right so now let's start with the key elements of a cover letter awesome so uh, first of all let me pull up my marker what are the key elements of a cover letter that you should know right it's a cover letter is very very crucial uh, element of a job application so cover letter should should basically uh, basically to, uh, do these uh, they should include these kind of three paragraphs which are basically your introduction sales pitch and conclusion now you will say that what is a sales pitch for us uh, as a software tester or a developer right what is a sales pitch for us okay so it's basically it's a basically just a information about you what you are doing right now okay it basically contain date uh, any contact number your title right now your employer your address and salutation right now what you are using for example qa lead or anything like uh, it basically contains opening paragraph middle and a second paragraph and content information that's it that's the whole point of it and in that cover letter basically what you do is that you will basically include your values and goals what are your values and what are your different goals that you have uh, what is the qualification that you have and CTA to resume if possible. CTA to resume basically means it's CTA can be okay. If you want to know more about it, check out my full resume, something like that. Okay. And in the end, you can include signature. So let's uh, do one thing. Let's do a practical stuff. Let's see the live example. Okay. So the tool that I'm using is basically instantcoverletter.com. Okay. Let's jump to the Brave browser. Right. And here I have generated a temporary uh, cover letter for you guys. Let me know. So, uh, for example, it's basically for an application as QA manager in TechUn. It's a, just an example, guys. Okay. Um, so, this is the cover letter generated. Uh, I'm a QA lead with over eight years of experience software testing. I have a passion. So, this is one, uh, this is actually generated by this tool. I have entered a couple of other things, couple of inputs here. And this is basically what it has generated. Okay. And it's looks amazing as well as i think uh, this works very well and a uh, couple of my other uh, friends basically have used this tool and there are other tools in the market also you can use them but uh, these tools uh, trust me are very very helpful to generating the cover letter which are personalized and specifically for the company that you are applying this is very very important that i am talking about uh, which is right now if you are basically sending any kind of, kind of resume to any hr suppose right you should include the cover letter. It's an optional, even in the Indian market, it's an optional. But if you include cover letter, then what I have personally seen is your chances of getting selected are little high. That this is my personal view uh, on this. But yeah, of course, that's why cover letter is also there, right? Because of this. So make sure you include uh, and I will encourage my all my students to please inc include the cover letter. You can use this free website. It will give you the a cover letter that uh, you can generate okay so let's see how you can generate it okay and uh, right so uh, you can cl uh, click on the new cover letter right for example i have clicked on automation tester now you just need to 
enter your start entering your details for example let's say my name is pramod okay and uh, let's say my i am applying for a three year job somewhere for example at a uh, some other so some product based company okay so professional title right now my my name is as that uh, let's say automation tester i am an automation tester as of now okay and uh, what kind of skills that you have i have selenium programming java let, this is just an example guys i know docker and i know cybers these kind of things so i have just added that okay i need the i basically know these uh, skills okay uh, these are te technical skills again you can change it accordingly it will give you the example right uh, what you can write for example for data scientists you can write sql python devops right so let's write sql also i am also good with this and keywords so if you click on this question mark it will give you the exact details what uh, what you can enter right so we have uh, keywords like data scientist for example innovative positive competitive uh, you can say explorer explorer love to find problem in others code something like this i mean this is just uh dummy information i mean this is your personal information you can say that okay i have uh, three years so uh, experience in software testing and three so something like this you can enter right uh, okay all right and after that you can enter your experience details other details well, let's say that right now i'm just adding and random random okay now uh, you will see that okay which company you're applying you basically basically can say that okay what's the company name and uh, i mean uh, let's see if there's an exact company and their job position copy and paste the job position here for example for example so we are applying for automation tester job description copy and paste the job description here uh, let's say just the job description okay responsibility you can say that okay test design this is just an example guys uh, testing reporting bugs right and generate let this is just a dummy purpose i have given you the previous the exact example i have given you in the first one right you can copy paste post that video somewhere uh, for the qa lead and just copy paste what i have added right so it will take a time literally little bit it will apply some ai and all and it will give you a well generated cover letter which is which will be very very helpful right so let's wait till it is given so my let's do one thing which is my personal tips right uh, first of all uh, what you need is a uh, cover letter should be personalized it basically means that uh, what what are the company that you are applying you know make sure you personalize according to that company okay that is very very important and uh, this is a link uh, so this mind map will be available you can this link is permanent you can open that link and see the exit cover letter that i have generated uh, you can make it little funny that i have tried ma many times a uh, little funny basically means you can say that my hobby is to uh kill people on gta right but sometimes hr are a little confused like why you have added kill person on a gta what is gta so sometimes funniness doesn't work uh video letter that you can try video cover letter nothing but uh, on linkedin you can send the videos basically talking about yourself which is which works very well and i have tried multiple times and i have told my students also to try give it a try you and you can in cover letter also you can mention that how you can contribute and how can be you part of that team uh, just avoid heavy jargon language don't add very very keyword uh, i mean don't add uh, heavy words like i am a cloud infrastructure uh, infrastructure i have handled this many uh, numbers blah 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 because uh, this is uh, basically straight away going to the hr and they are little confused on this so avoid number but add keywords instead that is this is that is very important so you can add keywords instead of it uh, generally hr will basically skim your cover letter so they will see the keywords only so that's what i'm telling you pay attention to the keywords okay seven second rule of hr uh, seven or three second rule is basically uh, whenever 
they will see your cover letter with resume right they will just skim the cover letter this is very important guys they will just go through uh, in it within three seconds they will just the keywords okay selenium cybers and automation is there okay so this is the automation profile and they will click on resume and just see and that's it so you have to grab the attention in within the three or seconds three four seconds to make sure you add keywords accordingly okay and uh, let's see yeah so this is generated blah 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 which is and uh, i think you can copy it uh, right now if we just copy it it will basically ask you for this uh, prices but uh, it's very easy i mean you can just it's in simple text area right just copy it that's it and you can just copy paste anywhere you want right yeah that you can try out so uh, i hope you have learned something new guys i hope these personal tips are going to help you to create a cover letter thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video